What is up you guys and of course welcome to our week 7 battle Now I will say in a week 8 battle that we didn't have this game But we actually recently had it and it's gonna be uploaded of course before that very game And we're going up against Jetman who is of course replacing Fun Brother And uh, he's also an Australian player which we had some issues trying to get our, each other to actually battle uh, And it is to be expected 10 hours apart really is um, well, in lack of better words, it's very hard to kind of time one another. And uh, luckily, though, we, I could time in here when in the early mornings, which is pretty really close to night for him. And uh, this game, I'll say it already as it is, is it's interesting because I have no reason for winning. Um, I'll shoot his team name is Outback Kamala. So just so really, he is as pure as Australia as one can get. And like I said, I have no reason for necessarily winning as um, due to the previous result from games uh, in week 7 I'm actually already in playoff and very close to possibly making it to the top 2 But I still want to make an honest fight here So the team I'm bringing here is an Assault Vest Tangro with Leaf Storm the reason for Leaf Storm is that his main leads, will, which is of course Dayenshi, Yuxi or Crodont, which I should say this is probably close to the team I was expecting, uh, give or take Serena and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, anyway, um, what I was feeling is that if Crowdon or Dianchi is leads, um, Leafstorm will guarantee KO, while Giga Drain puts me in a very tough situation, and due to Assault Vest and Regenerator, I should be able to keep myself fairly healthy. Um, and then we have Jellicent, which is a Colbert very variant with Dazzling Gleam and Shadow Ball. Uh, that combination does hit for super effective damage towards the things that can fret it out. Um, you can see here, I was going to say, uh, uh, what do you call it? Azel is an expert propelled variant with um, Sun Shock, Fire Blast, and Dazzling Elim, and Nasty Plot. Conkelder, standard, I would say, Assault Vest with Mag Punch and whatnot. Thunders here with Magnet this time around to be able to just ship a little more damage on poor the team. And uh, just overall, very nice Pokemon for this matchup. And Saigard, of course, finally making it back. Made a ton of sense for this matchup due to him having so many Pokemon, of course, weak to ground. So, yeah, that's basically it. We're facing off against a very, I would say a very tough team. Uh, but I'm feeling confident that this should work out just fine. So, with that said, let's go into the match. Um, now, as I was expecting, I was feeling. His best lead would probably be Mega Dienshi to kind of enforce I don't get any rocks up with Aesulf. But he starts off with Crodont, which was great. But I was thinking, all right, Tiger, we take this thing on. Even if it is a choice banded variant, his max roll should be 78%, and I should be able to be just fine. And uh, yeah, he's going to say that straight out the bat. I do not rarely calc for crits, and that, of course, kills Tiger straight on. And that was. I, I was still thinking, you know, I can still do this. I'm going to switch in Gohan. And I, of course, will force it out. But, uh, yeah, Crodon is now a very tough Pokemon to deal with. Garchomp is now a very tough Pokemon to deal with. And I'm feeling my defensive backbone is, um, well, lost in the void. And let's see if we can pull up Vepsis here. We, we don't have the defensive muscle to pull a um, crit 1 Vepsis, but... We can at least go for some kind of stalemate. That was at least what I was aiming for. As versus Yuxi, I was leveling back and forth whether or not I should switch in Thunderous, go for Nasty Plot, take things from there. But um, essentially, what I came down with was that, you know, at least I get Yuxi out of the way. Um, and we see a Sin Headbutt over Psyshock, which was. I was surprised. I was thinking Psyshock would have been make more sense. Uh, though it is just as physical or as offensive as it is. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, it has the same attack and special attack anyway. So wrap up there, Yuxi goes down, that's quite alright. Um, so the thing is here, um, he brings in Lian here afterwards. And uh, the thing things are now, uh, I have nothing to want to KO Lian and he will KO in the thing before it. So I decided here to go for a Mac Punch to ensure that Thunders will KO Lian Um At least that was my initial thought and I say that because, well, of course shit went down here too. As I do knock it down around that 60% area. Uh, the min roll here is actually, um, I guess it was with Magnet, it was 62. Uh, that is, of course, even with some investment. So with that being said, of course, I'm already building this up that, um, of course, Thunderbolt won't be enough to KO it. Um, and I was so surprised by this. He, of course, has some investment for sure. 
but he, you know, that's a slight part of health, and it was so frustrating. It really, really, really was. Um, because now my offensive prowess for Celestia is gone, and while I still have options for it, it's now all about the setup, and I need to bring in Achilles, my A-Cell, to just outspeed, and that's not good, as I go for a side shock just to guarantee that KO and the energy is gone. Uh, and now I know Snorlax is coming, I definitely know that, and um, I was wigging back and forth, you know, he's gonna be a curse set, I was thinking, so I felt Jelly Sense is gonna make sense here, taunt it, to make sure he can't curse up and not win the matchup naturally, um, but he's actually Beldrum. So I, I re really, really, really think it was tough for me that I didn't go for Nasty Plot, putting myself in range where I would at least threaten it somewhat, but yeah, that didn't help. And uh, well, I do go for Taunt just for hell with it, because I really, really just don't want to push it below 50% in case it's a figure bear variant, but um, I really don't have the offensive power anymore to actually do anything about this. Um, I am going to try to go from... Outrage with Saigar, but I won't do a, a lot of damage there. I actually forgot that I'm a fairly defensive Saigar for Celesteela, which was a Pokemon I was going to be able to set up against with Dragon Dance. And due to the barrier, I'm carrying to be able to actually win versus um, a Garchomp too. But yeah, the damage I put isn't there without, uh, without of course, the Dragon Dance. And as you guys can see, yeah, this is this is a lost cause, and we will lose this game 4-0. I'm really just going to go straight out of bat and say it. Um, I should say this, um, I don't I don't mind losing, absolutely, I absolutely don't, uh, and I really want to push that forward because I don't believe, um, like, people can be sold about losses and whatnot and the wrong prepping, uh, but for me I don't believe the prep was wrong or anything like that, I got the matchup I wanted turn 1, but the hacks kicked in and there is a 10% chance for that to happening, and that dictated the whole game. And um, I am not nearly defensively built for my team to be able to dictate stuff like that. I, I'm simply, I'm not. And while sure, I could have switched in um, from the first turn there, Conkeldor instead had that as a possible lead. I would have been safer, sure. But uh, it shouldn't have mattered like that. Um, the other thing that I'm leveling still about is whether or not I should switch into something versus Yuxi and go for a setup there too. But um, I couldn't switch in Thunders because Thunders, of course, Telfrax was possible on the field and I would have got ship on me. And since we know it was a choice banded Crawdont, uh, I wouldn't be able to get any use out of that uh, nasty plot anyway. Same thing goes for Yuxi in that aspect. So Saiga would be the only switch in. And uh, even at that, I don't know if, um, like, due to the NGB inactive. Um, that were still alive, I couldn't lock myself into Outrage anyway versus potential guards so I'm switching, even though I would get at least two Dragon Essence off versus that. Uh, so yeah, this is basically a game where everything went wrong, and uh, I mean, that's the unfortunate story. Um, like I said, losing games, not bad, but losing the games like this, we really don't have any control here. I don't believe I get what I want, which is a showcase of my builds and hope to get something level out of my opponent. Uh, when you get a first turn crit, and it matters so much because it dictates your whole defensive uh, roster. Um, it becomes impossible to do well. And uh, while we've seen, like I said here, Vipsis in a prior game um, actually survive that aspect, he plays a lot bulkier than I do. I don't have that opening or flexibility on my team to actually just defensively check things. I'm, that's never my intentions. So that means if something goes really badly early, it's going to probably dictate the, the rest of the game. And I wasn't mad at Jetman or anything like that. He, of course, this is out of his control. Uh, he felt really bad about the game. Uh, as long as my opponent are aware of the situation, I really couldn't be salty or anything like that. Like I said, I, I probably talk a bit too much here, but I really just want to dictate that I don't care. It's just unfortunate. It actually is. Uh, we're still in playoff, and... Um, Consider how this game went, uh, my opponent here is actually one of the people that can go for playoff. And if so, if we get another shot at this, well, hopefully we get that without a crit. That's that's basically it. Um, <laughs> that's really all I can say. Um, I really, really didn't want a game to end up something like this. I actually wanted something to showcase for you guys, but this is as close we got for this game, and it, it looks tough. I haven't had a game like this since, I think, over two years. 
I really are this unlucky in a match. And even if we can call it un like a very, very tough, uh, unlucky situation, I really need to give props to my opponent. Also, Choice Bandit Crawl was an excellent bring. It, it actually is. And Belly Drum Snorlax was really cool. And it got me. Uh, it absolutely got me. So, for what it's worth, GG Jetman. Um, if we face each other again, let's hope that game is <laughs> is hacks free or at least as close as it can get. So that's it, guys. Thank you for, of course, watching. I hope you enjoyed this anyway, even though it was a massacre for the Scandinavian Southlands. And uh, well, I see you. Well, in the next upload. Until then, take care.